Fox News has been first on many elements of the investigation into the Benghazi terror attack last September that left four Americans dead. Tonight, exclusive new information about the State Department agent gravely injured in that attack trying to save Ambassador Chris Stevens. Here's Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge. Diplomatic security agent David Ubin was so severely injured during the Benghazi terrorist attack that 10 months later he is still being treated at Walter Reed Medical Center in suburban Washington. Having made direct contact with Ubin, Fox News is obscuring this photo to respect his request for privacy as he remains focused on his family and his recovery. Congressman Louis Gohmert, who has become friends with Ubin, says he still needs time and space to heal. David won't demand answers. He's, he's just a patriot. He will do whatever his country charges him to do. But America needs answers. Fox News has learned that Ubin helped recover the body of Foreign Service Officer Sean Smith, going back into the smoke and flames at the consulate multiple times. He brought my son out. He went in there when, when, when the place was burning. He, he was a hero. He is a hero. Confidential sources tell Fox during the second wave of the attack, Ubin was gravely injured, nearly losing his leg after mortars rained down on the CIA annex. Ubin was on the roof defending the compound along with former Navy SEALs Glenn Doherty and Tyrone Woods who were killed. Congressman Chaffetz, whose oversight committee is investigating Benghazi, says the State Department has frustrated his efforts to meet with Ubin. While initially they said they would be helpful, pretty quickly they turned that off and I had a meeting scheduled to go visit this, this young man and um, then I was denied. Another Republican, Congressman Frank Wolf, complains in this letter to Secretary Kerry that the State Department has refused for months to provide the names and contact information for Benghazi survivors. We don't prevent anyone from telling their story. We've uh, helped and facilitated countless uh, part hearings and uh, interviews and discussions with members of Congress. With hearings scheduled on Benghazi this fall, congressional sources hope David Ubin will feel he is well enough and able to publicly testify because he's one of the only survivors to witness both waves of the attack, Brett. Okay.